It seems we're ending the month of September with some clouds, Steve. October has to have more sunshine, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> by default. I think we've had so much cloud cover. Uh, any sunshine would be better than how we finished off the month. But remember, we started the month with 100 degree temperatures. So we're not seeing that, but we will see a switch to sunny and warmer weather as we head into the upcoming week, including your Sunday. So let's take a look outside. As you can see, still that pancake layer of clouds out there that it has really not dissolved much, but we are seeing some improvements off to the west. We've seen it to our south and west, and it's just a matter of time before that works its way back into the area. So we'll call it gradual clearing overnight. It's not like a snap of the fingers and it's clear, but it's a process, and I think during the overnight hours while you're sleeping, we will be in much better shape here. That sets us up for a really nice Sunday. We're talking about temperatures at 80 or higher for a good chunk of the area, and we're not going to just get one day of this. We are going to get several days of this. It looks like Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, potentially even Thursday. I see the change coming next Friday in terms of cloud cover coming in here and eventually some showers. That shower activity probably coming in late the day on Friday and Friday night. So we have warmed things up. We were mostly in the 50s and 60s in this mid-Atlantic map during the work week. We're now 74 in Morgantown, 72 in Elkins. It's 80 in Columbus, Ohio right now. So the warmer weather is off to our west, and there is no way that it does not get in here. Along with the warmer weather is some drier weather. We had some more nuisance drizzle this week. Really didn't help the drought situation, but we're not going to be seeing any nuisance anything in terms of rainfall through at least Wednesday. Even Thursday looks quiet. The next chance of showers looks like it'll be on Friday later in the day and at night. Here's that storm system that brought that deluge of rain to New York City. We just missed out on the outer edge of this, kind of just pivoting around, taking taking its own time to get out of here, but it will be moving out, I think, during the overnight and early morning hours on your Sunday, replacing it with blue sky and sunshine. So 59 tonight in Catonsville, 58 Ellicott City, 56 in Jessup, your overnight low, 59 in Towson, and 62 in the Inner Harbor. We'll call it 59 downtown tonight. 81 degrees, unseasonably warm tomorrow. Your average high about 75 degrees. We will surpass that by, let's say, lunchtime. So low 70s by 10 a.m. If you want to do brunch outside tomorrow, it looks great. Upper 70s to low 80s. You can't pick a bad neighborhood. Look at that. 80 to 81, most of the area from Cockeysville to Reisterstown to Elkridge over to Dundalk. 83 in the Inner Harbor here tomorrow afternoon. Uh, Red Sox at Orioles tomorrow afternoon. 305 game. That is beautiful. 82 degrees. Spectacular baseball weather, but changes will be coming back as early as next weekend. Cooler weather building in to the northeast. And coming up at 7 o'clock, I'll talk about the tropics and also that cooler weather on the way. But for now, sunshine temperatures in the 80s through Wednesday. Next chance of showers Friday and Saturday. We'll be right back.